I've worked for Open Reach for 23 years now, and I got into art when I was at school, couldn't follow it through, and then my daughter was looking for a college to do art. We went to Barking and Dagenham College, and the lecturer asked me why I didn't do a degree, and I couldn't think of a good reason why I didn't, so I did a HNC and a HND in uh, fine art. They don't do a degree in fine art at Barking and Dagenham, so I was speaking to Nigel Bailey, the CWU rep at uh, the East Anglian branch, and at the time he was looking in for people for, to do courses and he helped me look for a course. And I found one at Havering College who did a degree. So I just started doing a degree there part-time and I'm in the final year this year or next year when it starts. We went to Berlin for a week and we went to a concentration camp, Sachsenhaven, I believe it's 32 miles north of Berlin. But it was the main training camp for the Nazi regime. They trained the SS officers there so that they could go out to other camps and not be very nice. I've got quite a big collection of German stamps of that era and wasn't sure should I keep them, should I get rid of them. And when I got back, I decided rather than do something negative with them, which would just destroy them or something, I'd try and do something positive. So the idea behind the project was to get images and put these images over, silk screen them onto the stamps. And from the start, the idea always was to try and break them up afterwards and disperse them in some way that they would have some meaning. So the idea is that I've got a quote by Edmund Burke about evil only flourishes when good men do nothing. And I'm gonna exhibit the stamps and then break the sheets or some of the sheets up, put one stamp on each card, tie it to the card with a red triangle, which was what political prisoners had to wear. And I spoke to my local MP, John Crudas, and he's agreed to hand out the cards and there's gonna be some relevant information about why I've done it and what the project's about to MPs. And then hopefully they'll keep it in their wallet and they'll think about when they vote, evil only flourishes if you stand by and do nothing. This piece is about a man, well, it's involved with a man called Niamola who's a priest and then after the war he was involved with the reconciliation and his theme was bad things happen if you look away and don't do anything. And I wanted to try and do it so that you looked at it and you had to work out where the words are. If I just put the poem onto the stamps you'd be able to see it straight away. Yeah, I can see what that is and you walk away. But once you start reading it, hopefully you'll follow it through. And if you're interested enough, you might try and find out the message behind it and who this man was. And he was one of the prisoners in the concentration camp at Saxonhaven. So that ties him in, so that's why I picked him as well. If one person looks at the project and decides next time they see something happening that's wrong, they challenge it and don't just walk past, then I, you know, something positive's come out of my stamps and what I've done. And that's really what I'm aiming for, something, a positive aspect to it. <laughs>